from my uh, from my room here in in Uzice, in Serbia. Look at the beautiful view I have. And it's been a, a very long time actually. I did not show you the map. So and and today in in this video, once I get going, I will I will uh, give you an update on my plans because I've changed a little bit my plans, not on the long term, but on the on the short term. I've I've changed quite a lot my plans. So let's have a look at the map first. So I am here now in Užice in Serbia and uh, today I am going uh, no well the plan now is to go to Novi Pazar and probably on the way I'm going to stop in uh, Ivanica I think it's going to take me 2 days to reach Novi Pazar so I might stop one night in Ivanica and then reach Novi Pazar so all this area is uh, western Serbia is uh, very mountainous and you can see also now it looks a little bit better. All the everything I have done since I left. So I left here in France. You see, northeast of Paris, went down all the way across Switzerland to the south to Italy, crossed a bit of Italy, crossed Slovenia, crossed a bit of Croatia. I crossed entire and the entire Bosnia, and now I am here in Užice in Serbia. So I'm here in Serbia. So originally my plan was to to go down somehow to Greece, go to the islands, go to Crete, go to Rhodos, to Rhodes, and then take a boat to get to somewhere in southern Turkey. So that was my plan to, to go from Europe to, to Asia, to the Middle East. Yeah, but the problem is that from what I checked in internet, so I, the, as of now, the maritime borders between uh, Greece and Turkey are still closed. I don't know if it's because of because of uh, COVID or if it's because of the incidents they had with the uh, seismic prospection. Um, well, it was some maritime incidents between Greece and and Turkey in the in the last uh, like six months ago, something like that. So I don't know if the maritime borders are closed because of that or because of the pandemic. But still, it's like it's closed. So I don't want to end up basically being being stuck here and having to take a boat to maybe Thessaloniki and then ride that. It doesn't make sense to do all that to me. The, the the purpose of that was that I could go to Greece for winter and I could spend the winter in Greece and don't have to worry too much about the bad weather uh, and, and about the cold in winter because I don't really have, as I'm going to Africa, I'm, I don't really have a cold um, gear. Well, gear for very cold uh, cold weather. Then I decided that I'm going to completely skip Greece and from here I'm probably going to go south, probably go through Kosovo. I want to see uh, North Mac Macedonia and then I'll go across across Bulgaria all the way to Istanbul. So that's my new plan to go to to go to to reach the Middle East, but the problem is that Bulgaria, well, Bulgaria in winter is extremely cold and it's it's full of snow and I'm not ready for that. So I don't want to be there in winter. So my plan is, as we are, um, it's the end of September now. So so then I decided that I'm I'm gonna try to reach Istanbul in in December to avoid um, to avoid uh, winter in Bulgaria. So to, to to go through probably I'll try to go to to cross Bulgaria in in November. And after that, the plan. Uh, so that's the plan for Europe. So basically, originally, I, I plan to stay probably one year in Europe. It's going to be much, much, much shorter. I think I'm going to end up staying only six months in Europe. And um, and then after that, of course, once I reach Turkey, I'll have to cross Turkey and then I'll have to find a way. And that's what's going to be fun also. And and, and that's why also I'm going, I want to go a little bit faster because I'm going, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really eager to reach the Middle East and, and different cultures. So then once I'm in Turkey, I'm going to have to find a way to cross uh, to cross the Middle East, especially because with my bike, as my bike is electric, uh, the big batteries for electric bikes are not allowed on flights. Well, on, on 95 percent of the of 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 the comp of the companies don't uh, accept those uh, those batteries in 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 airplanes because I think because of risks of explosions. That's what I think. So. So I'll have to find a way over land or with a boat to through Middle East. So it's going to be interesting for that. I'm really looking forward to that. 
and then after uh, so after crossing the Middle East to reach uh, Cairo, which where Cairo will be Cairo or Alexandria will be probably my starting point for the, to cross Africa. So um, yeah, after crossing the Middle East, the plan is still the same. I, it's just like what I, my my guess is that originally I said uh, I'm gonna plan on. Um, on traveling five to seven years for this uh, like kind of like tour of uh, crossing Europe, uh, Middle East and, and tour of Africa. Probably it's going to be a little bit shorter, I think, because uh, I'm going faster than what I expected. And, and I see that uh, now that I'm, I'm used to riding the bike, uh, I can do I can do quite uh, big distances in, 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 in a few days. Like if I really if I really push it, I, I can do like 300 Ks in, in three days. I can do 500 Ks in, 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 fi in, in five days. So now I, 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 I understand that my original planning was a little bit, was quite uh, too conservative. So it's probably going to be a little bit faster. But today, let's go to Ivanitsa. And after Ivanitsa, it's going to be in Novi Pazar in two days. Okay, let's go. I need to pack everything. And then uh, let's get let's get on the road to ride through Serbia. Well, yeah, I just wanted to say actually it's funny because during two days for ten euros, I don't know what's this this guest house, but basically I had an entire house for me for ten euros. <laughs> just I don't know. Look at that. All this place was for me. I could work here. I have the the lovely kittens. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, that's it. My bike is ready. Let's go to Novi Pazar. Well, I have a, I have a problem. Look at that. I can't go. The kittens won't let me go. <laughs> go away. They are all underneath the bike. Look at that. Look at him. Meow. So it's a big Serbian party under my bike. What what do I do? And, and I can't touch them. I, I'm allergic to the their hair. Go away! No, don't don't go under. Up. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go away. Go away. Okay, let's go. Hopefully, nobody's dead behind me. No, it looks like okay. We <laughs> oh. have cafes everywhere but no restaurants. Oh. So apparently there is a monastery to the right. So I'm gonna make a detour. I'm gonna go to the monastery and have lunch near the monastery yeah where i am now sometimes they call it western serbia sometimes central serbia i think where i am right now should be more like central serbia so basically i'm heading to the region of the monasteries which is the the heartland of uh, medieval serbian culture well it was the heartland of serbian culture of serbian culture during medieval times so that's why 
it's a region uh, where you have uh, a lot of uh, monasteries. Monastery Klisura. Well, it's the second one I see. The first one I've seen was in uh, in Bosnia actually, just before the uh, entering Serbia. So this one is from the 13th century. Such beautiful uh, old paintings inside. Absolutely fantastic. Let's push the bike up. Let's go back to the main road. <laughs> 